everyone, Graham here at the Loudwire Music Awards at the PRS Backstage Artist Lounge with Power Trip, the sickest band in the house. You just had an amazing performance, seriously. That was the sickest thing I think we'll see tonight. So thank you for coming and thank you for playing. And you have Tony Iommi's hand now. Where are you going to put this beautiful trophy? Don't know. <laughs> <laughs> to be determined. Put it, yeah, I'm actually going to replace my hand with, with this hand. <laughs> Nobody will f with me. <laughs> Drop that bad boy down on someone's head, they're going to sleep. Oh. Tell me a little about your performance. In the background, you had Richard Spencer getting punched. You had some Trump stuff. Can you tell me about uh, the message you wanted to send with that imagery? Oh, I just think that, like, I, it's a general, we're in, like, a very chaotic point in our, you know, societal landscape, not just political. So I think we were just trying to get all that across, you know. If you notice, we, you know, we weren't just attacking the right. It was kind of a all-encompassing, like, shit is fucked kind of situation, so. But also, that dude. Yeah, yeah that seriously. dude, number one, like, that guy deserved to get punched and all that stuff. That's why it was in there. But, like, some of the other stuff, you know, there wasn't, it was just kind of a vague, like, yeah, shit is crazy right now kind of message, which is a lot, has, has a lot to do with the song, too. So it was very fitting. A lot of it was stuff from the video, and then yeah. we kind of just tweaked it for the performance. So Cool. So, I mean, 2017 has been an amazing year for you guys, like a real breakout year. You've been grinding at this a long time. What's it like to see your work pay off in a big way like it has this year? Uh, I, I think it's just kind of surreal for all of us. Uh, I, I, I mean, I set it up there. I really just, I think we started this band to kind of have an excuse to like see the world, maybe go to Europe and Australia and Japan or something. and. Never thought that we would be here, especially I, I, I never even when I, you know, a daydream as a kid about being in a band that I would be at a, an award ceremony. It was never like a goal of mine to do that. And then this was possible and we won, which is crazy. This is crazy. Yeah, this is just, we're just enjoying it. Rolling and that, with it, man. It was 100% fan voted, that award. So your fans gave you that award over all those we other We had a songs. lot of good help. We've got a little, a little power trip army that, that goes to work when we need them to. So they do a lot of crazy <laughs> for us. And people were voting, you know. I had family members voting every day. Their coworkers were voting. And the cool thing was is that we got a lot of new fans just from them being so excited about being nominated. Like people weren't just doing it to help out with my aunt you know they were like actually doing it because they enjoyed the band and bought the record or something like that so absolutely it was really great totally so where do you guys go from here i hear another new record is not too far away is that true no that is not true no <laughs> <laughs> i think you might we we have a, we have uh we have a single coming out sometime oh, okay. cool. in the near future not quite a full length record so uh, give us a little more time uh, on yeah, that one. It hasn't even been a year yet, man. Cause give us some slack. <laughs> no, I, I know you're excited. We are too. We're, we're really thrilled. You know, this has been a great year. But yeah, we're we're, we're gonna we got a little ways to go before we start doing that. For sure. And you guys, and you guys picked Jamie Josta to come up there and play with you. What was it about Jamie that you wanted him to join you for this show? Uh, I, I we just love Haybreed and we're we're doing some dates with them and and we're going to Europe with them in January and that, actually it was Loudwire's suggestion but we we jumped it jumped at it we were like that sounds like a great idea and so it worked out really well yeah it was awesome and it was a good way to get to know Jamie before we go on tour with him yeah we, this is our first time really meeting him and he's been fucking hilarious really nice really cordial guy like couldn't ask for anything better in a collaboration with a guy I've never met and got to run over the song maybe a half a dozen times so yeah. it was a lot of fun i had a great time okay. well guys thank you guys so much for being here nightmare logic is a f amazing record seriously everybody has to pick that up it's one of the most lean awesome 30 minutes that you'll ever spend thanks man. thank you guys so thank much you. for being here thanks, appreciate it yeah appreciate it right.